There is a scene in the 1993 Western epic movie Tombstone featuring Val Kilmer, Kurt Russell, Sam Elliott, and many other greats. Late in the film, there is this great scene with a poignant lesson for all of us here this morning. Doc Holliday, who is fighting an illness, and others have a shootout down by the river with some outlaws. After it's over, Turkey Creek Jack Johnson asks Holiday, who didn't have any skin in the fight, who was obviously gravely ill, Doc, you oughta be in bed. What the hell are you doing this for anyway? Doc Holiday responds, because Wyatt Earp is my friend. Johnson says, hell, I got lots of friends. And Doc Holiday replies, I don't. Here is the scene quickly. Doc, you ought to be in bed. What the hell are you doing this for anyway? Wide up is my friend. Hell, I got lots of friends. I don't. You see, Doc Holliday realizes something, something I don't think a lot of people do. The people with a ton of friends, they really don't have any. Doc Holliday understands the value of one or two real friends. Those that you can really be authentic with. Those that you know have your back. Those whom you have theirs. It's worth an infinite number of acquaintances. Holiday standard of a friendship boils down to this. You either walk with a man into the teeth of death or you are not his friend. Turkey Jack Johnson has many friends, but seemingly few he would die for. It is even written in the good book, John 15, 13. Greater love hath no man than this, that a man lay down his life for his friends. Holiday has only a few friends, maybe but one, but the ones he has are men worthy of his very life. So we spy the distinction between mere acquaintances and friends. We spend a lot of time trying to be everybody's everything. And when we do that, we really become nobody's anything. You are truly living when you are a friend and when you have a friend. There are not many friends out there. And the way that you know if you have a friend ultimately is to see if he or she shows up when your hour of reckoning approaches, whenever or whatever that might be. And the way that you know if you are a friend ultimately is to see if you show up when their hour of reckoning approaches, whenever or whatever that might be. If you've got one or two people that you can rely on, that you show up for, that show up for you, you've got everything in the world. So if you are a friend, prove it to them. Send them this Darren Daily message to them and then write, I am your friend. And take out your Darren Daily journal. Write the name of anyone whom you believe would truly walk into the teeth of death for you. And if the few to zero reality startles you, write down what you might do starting today to be a better friend and to whom.